Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mariette Candice. I'm so happy you're watching. If you have subscribed, we've actually grown. We are now like over 1,000. Here with me is the captain of Uganda Cranes, Dennis Onyango. How are you doing? I'm all good. How are you? Olibulunji, you look very tired. I'm just in the relaxed mood, but I'm not tired. Mm. Yes. We have a game this weekend. On Saturday. So it's all your mind is up to now. Focused, fully focused with the team. Mm. So before we get into what this whole thing is all about, for people that are watching and have seen you play, they've seen you do all the things that you have done, you're mm. the best on this continent, but they would like to know, who is Dennis? Uh, Dennis Onyango is a Uganda Cranes goalkeeper and Mamelodi Sundown in South Africa. Mm. Uh, from a family of four, of course, I'm the third born. In, third, uh, born. third born, yes. Uh, that's why I, I strive hard to... <laughs> to, to work yeah but anyway uh, yeah i'm uh, a goalkeeper as i said and uh, sportsman since childhood okay mm. where did you grow up i grew up in zambia uh, mm. just next to the rail railway station mm. uh railway quarters yes uh, those houses you know, those were places. called yes of yeah. course now it's they, they're all demolished but that's where i grew up and uh, raised okay mm. schools um, I went to Rares Primary School in mm. Zambia simply because I was uh, yeah. staying in the Rere quarters and we had the benefits from uh, the government. Kids of people who are working in the, in the, in the railways should go there mm. and uh, I was there until primary six. I went to primary seven in uh, Greenland Islamic School in Natete. Mm. That's when so you I, know some Yes, can yes, I can. I can <laughs> really? do anything when it comes to uh, Islamic. Islam. Yes, mm. uh, so uh, I, from from Islamic uh, Greenland Islamic, I went to uh, Chitante Hill School for mm. senior one. But you know, it was not the best for me because I was a sportsman and I wanted football that much. But mm. I left simply because the school was more into basketball. So I left. Okay. I went to. Ntanda College, where they wanted me uh, simply because of school and, and football. And mm. I saw the opportunity opening up, and I was there also until senior four. Then I joined uh, Kampala Citizen in, in uh, Namirembe. Did you know that you wanted to be a goalkeeper from? Yeah, childhood? definitely. You, definitely. You wanted football, but then you were not sure where. I wanted to be a goalkeeper because when I was in Zambia, mm. I used to be you, you play as a goalkeeper. So I saw my opportunities in mm. goalkeeping department that's why I chose goalkeeping and it was not that competitive in goalkeeping because not everyone wanted, wanted to be a that. goalkeeper so I saw I saw I actually used to be a goalkeeper in primary school <laughs> well lie I'm not even lying <laughs> which is okay but what inspired you uh, of course I grew up next to the railway uh, station and next not far from uh, Nachivubo stadium mm. and uh, we never used to have a TV but on radio you could hear someone being called Sadiq Waswa who was a great goalkeeper and I was like this is my thing this is what I want to be and he's, he's one of the people that inspired me to become a goalkeeper because he was talked much about mm. when he was still playing for, for Uganda and KCC. Yeah you've achieved so much you're like you're, you're the best in, on the continent how do you get there for any young person out there who wants to be a goalkeeper? Uh, of course dedication mm. and uh, hard work uh, mostly discipline also because uh, there's, everyone can be a very good talented goalkeeper or a talented footballer but mm. if you are not talented, sorry, you, if you are not uh, hard working because nothing beats talent yeah, but you must also work hard, true. work extremely hard to, to achieve anything that you want in life mm. and also uh, being able to be uh, 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 very much uh, uh, with discipline because you know, if you're not disciplined, no one will want to work with you. No one will want to associate with you. But I've tried to maintain that all my football career. Mm. Uh, we have a game this Saturday, which is probably going to determine if you're going back to Afcon. Uh, what do you think? I'm positive. I'm, I'm, I mean, we are there already, but mm. we need to work <laughs> extremely hard. Yeah. Because we're playing a very uh, good team. Mm. All the players are from Europe, very experienced team. But uh, as I said, with hard work, nothing is impossible as a captain what do you do i motivate the boys mm. i show them the bigger picture of of of, of uh, afcon mm. I, I i give them a different view on what they see on saturday mm. we are looking at the afcon now not at the saturday's game so 
uh, motivating them towards the, the Saturday's game is by giving them the view that I had in the previous AFCON, mm. that how amazing it is when the entire continent is focused on you guys so, mm. and making the country proud. And that's what everyone is looking at at the moment. And they, want, they really, really want to be at the AFCON for the second time in a row. And of course, I want to be there mm. also with them and uh, experience the best of African football. Uh, do you have a morning routine? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Uh, as much as I love sleeping, <laughs> you uh, love sleeping. I love sleeping. <laughs> I even miss breakfast for sleep. But uh, I try as much as possible. Uh, it depends when I'm active mm. in training or when I'm not, when I'm, my club is off season. I, I do have different programs. Mm. Uh, when I'm active. First thing you do in the morning? First thing I do in the morning. I pray because I don't know what happened to other people during the night. So I try and pray and thank God for the opportunity because when we move out of the house, you don't know whether you're going to come back. So you, 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 you make your day special by uh, praying to God. Okay. And uh, do you, after praying, go to the gym? Do you... Well, uh, as I said, it depends differently if, if I'm on season or off season, but mostly I... I try as much as possible to go to the gym mm. because I need to keep fit, I need to keep healthy because okay. a healthy life is a better life mm. and uh, I go to the gym. I'm not that much into uh, weightlifting but I, I tr at least I, I jog on the, on the treadmill mm. for like 20 to... What are some of the things that you do to stay healthy and fit? Of course you need to eat healthy first. Mm. Uh, I try and avoid... What does eating healthy mean to you? Um, I try and uh, avoid the food which makes me heavy, mm. like the, the bread, uh, a little bit of rice, uh, pasta. I stay much into uh, vegetables. Okay. Vegetables. Not everyone loves vegetables, but they are very, very healthy for us. Yeah. Uh, not only footballers, but everyone in the world, because uh, if, 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 if you eat more vegetables, you, you, you put the muscle back, yeah. you put the muscles back and uh, you, you, you don't get much fat on your body. Mm. And uh, I, I got to a state where sometimes I, I had to gain weight, but I know how to lose weight uh, as soon as possible by, okay. by eating healthy and going to the gym. And, uh, what not motivates you to go every day to the gym? One of the things that people find a problem mm. is keeping that you're keeping motivated to go to the gym every day or you know, if you go three times, making sure that you keep going. Look, when you love yourself and when you love your life, you mm. must be motivated to, to stay healthy. Yeah. And as I said, eating healthy is one of them. Going to the gym is one of them. Mm. And also drinking the right stuff, putting the right fluid in your body. Because mm. uh, some people love drinking. We all love Fanta, Coke and all those fizzy drinks, but they're not good for our health. Mm. The more water you drink, the better. The, the better for you because uh, I've never seen a tree being uh, fed <laughs> with coke or fanta. Mm -hmm. All trees or plants, they, they are being fed by water. So uh, these are the things that we need to look at the nature of life mm -hmm. and uh, try and uh, keep fit and fresh. Okay. Yeah. All right. And as wrap this up, five grooming tips for men. Uh, Number one. Eat healthy. Mm -hmm. Take a jog in the morning. Um, try and uh, associate and stay happy. Mm -hmm. Stay happy because it will keep your your body healthy and your mind. What did you stay happy? Associate. Go for comedy. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I, I I I mean I love going for comedy, but you might not have time to go for comedy. But mm. the, the people you associate with must be uh, having a positive mind all the time. Yeah. And, Number uh, four. Uh, staying away, staying away from uh, negative people. Mm. That's true. Yeah, because That's very important. negativity is not right, especially mm -hmm. uh, for a, a person. It might not be a man, but for anyone, if someone is negative all the time, it, it brings you backwards all the time and you're not uh, looking forward to the next challenge. Mm, number five. Uh, as I said, uh, going to the gym and staying motivated because when you work hard, your body is going to get back to shape. And, uh, and you even feel good. Yes, you, you feel good. Well. You, you, I mean, you, you get the maximum rest. You, you rest well and you, you know that your body is being uh, frequently... Uh, 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 your muscles are moving, you feel good. 
yeah it's like a car when you pack it for so long and the day you want to restart it it's gonna give you problems and that's the way the body also uh, works when you you don't go to the gym the day you go to the gym it's gonna be very hard for you and uh that's why i i, I really really encourage people to go to the gym frequently maybe three times a week so that the engine stays fresh thank you very much Okay. Such an interesting chat I had with uh, uh, Dennis Onyango, the captain of Uganda Cranes. He's literally the best goalkeeper we have on this continent. And uh, he gave you some tips on what you can do if you want to be one of the best goalkeepers. And of course, how you can stay fit, how you can stay motivated to go to the gym. I know that's one of the biggest or toughest thing for most people who want to stay fit. Going to the gym every day, man. <laughs> Do I have to go? But then, you know, you have to do so. Like he's told you how, you know, he stays motivated. That's what you have to do. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe. There's a, a button. I think it's like this side. It's red. It's a word actually. It's red in color. Just click on it and subscribe to my channel.